Hi everybody, it's Gretchen Hillsheim aka Artsy Designs here with a little video on how to bind your um, mixed media art projects into a little book. Um, I have another video on here with a flip through of one of my first journals, which I can't find right now to show you. Um, and I'm going to bind this together with a technique similar to that, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to use the um, wallboard tape, the drywall tape, um, as a binding tape. So we'll see how that turns out. So what you're going to need is um, what you're going to bind. I'll show you those in a second. Um, I made this little thing. I'm going to use this, I think, as the edging for the um, the spine for the book. Um, I made this out of old uh, uh, tissues. Um, what do I want to say? Oh, used um, used paper towels from you know, with paint on them and stuff. You'll need a ruler, pencil, scissors, and then you'll need some really strong tape. Uh, this seems to work pretty well. It's just crafty power tape, which is a double-sided adhesive. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to figure out where you're going to draw lines on here and you're going to figure out how far over you want your tape to, to come. What, How far do you want to cover? Um, I've got this little gem here on this side of this first one and I know that this is the cover that I want to use. And that's about three quarters of an inch is where that starts. And three quarters of an inch seems like a decent amount. Actually, I don't even think I want to go over three quarters of an inch. I think I'm going to do half an inch. So on all of my all of my uh, pages, I'm going to have to draw down half an inch. I'm going to draw a line that's half an inch from the edge all the way down. I'm just marking here a half an inch. And then I'm going to connect my dots here, which I can't see. So I'm going to connect my dots, making it way harder than it needs to be. And I'm going to draw a line down on the side like that. Now you're going to do this on both sides of your of each page. Now the binding is going to be on this side. When I flip the page over it's going to be on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Go a half an inch over and try to get so I can actually see the lines this time. Draw a line on this. Okay, so like I said, I knew this was going to be my front page. Now the rest of them, you're going to have to look and see uh, where your pattern is. So um, the way your composition turned out. Uh, this side, on this particular one, it wouldn't really matter which side the binding is going to cover. Um, but let's look on this side. If the binding comes over half an inch, it's going to cover up this saying. So I'm going to want the binding on this particular one to be on this side as well. So again, I'm going to draw half an inch down. And it is going to cover unless you've prepared for, for this, um, for how far over it's going to come when you actually do your projects. Um, it will cover up part of them. Um, so then on this side, did you, whoops, half an inch. By the way, do you like this design? This was, I was going to use this cutout for my, I made this on my, um, electronic cutter and I was going to use this for my wedding, <laughs> but you know how weddings go and you just never get around to, to doing everything you wanted. So I decided to use it in my mixed media. Okay, so you're going to continue doing that to all of your pieces, like on this piece I'm going to have to do on this side, and that works out okay. Actually, I think I was thinking of that when I made this one. 
you're going to do that at all of your pieces. And then, so I'm going to do that quick and I'll be right back. We are using a half inch on each side. So what we're going to end up doing is the, basically just for a visual, tape is going to be folded like this and one half will be on one side and one half will be connecting on the connecting page. So I'm just going to quick we'll do a couple pages and then I'll fast forward to, so we don't bore you. So, so we're going to start with the back of the first page. And what you're going to do is you're going to line up your um, binding material um, on the line and then press down. Okay, once you have it down, you fold it over like this, and then you get your next page, and you're going to. Well, here's where I probably should have given a little bit more. Line it up with this line that you did on this page and look what I did. Make sure, see I don't have the top, the tops lined up. Make sure that those are aligned too otherwise you'll have a funky book that'll not be matching. Now, alright, so you want to make sure that is good and snug. There we go, there's our first page. Okay, next page we're going to do the same Thing. There you go. I'm kind of liking that because then you you're not really covering up a whole lot of the design. Whereas in my other um, journal, it covered up some of the of the design. All right, I'm gonna pause and we're gonna I'm gonna finish the rest of these. Okay, and of course, as if everything it always happens. Um, I finished the rest of this video and it didn't record. So, um, I where I left off, I was I was putting all of this binding on. Um, after I had all this on, the next thing I needed to do was add an edging. And how I did that was I cut a me I measured how thick the edge was, which was 0.75 uh, inches, three quarters of an inch. And then, if you remember, our width of our uh, book was uh, our, our line was half an inch so it would be an inch total half an inch on each side so that's 1.75 inches and then I added a little bit for wiggle room I also measured this way and it was around five inches so I cut a piece of of this um, fabric that I made from paper towels to five about five inches long and one point a little over uh, I think it was one and seven eighths inches wide. Um, then I took this power tape. I put it on the I put it on the the line next to the line. I folded um, the paper over and pressed it, lined it up right at the edge of the line and pressed it down really good on one side. And then I took the other side. I did the same thing. I put tape down. And now the key is not to pull it tight when you pull it over. Just line it up with the, the line that you drew. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to, to turn it. There won't be any give here. So I put down two strips of the, the double-sided tape, smoosh this on really good. And then we have our... Um, the only other thing, I don't have an X-Acto knife right now, but is I would... I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and trim up the edges. 
and then we will have our little book where we have you can turn each page and we have so we can still see it I'm not sure why this one is all wonky that's weird but a little idea anyway so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thumbs up if you did and please subscribe and we'll see you later thanks bye